Welcome to Sakuradev channel. Today we're diving into how to secure your web forms in Next.js using the honeypot technique. This method is lightweight, user-friendly, and highly effective against bots. So if you're ready, let's get started. The term honeypot originates from the idea of a sticky trap, like a jar of honey that attracts flies and other pests. In cybersecurity, it was first used to describe decoy systems designed to lure hackers away from sensitive data. This concept has been adapted to web forms to catch bots. So what is the honeypot technique? It's really straightforward. It's a method where we add a hidden field to our forms. Real users won't see this field, but bots often fill it out. If this field contains data, we know that it's a bot and we reject the form submission. So why should we use honeypot technique? First, it's lightweight and doesn't require any external dependencies. Second, it's user-friendly. No need to bother users with solving CAPTCHAs. Finally, it's an effective way to reduce spam submission from bots. So now let's create a simple form in Nexus with a hidden honeypot field, and then we're gonna fill that form with a bot and see how we can actually detect that bot and reject form from submission. So let's quickly get started. All right, so as you can see, we have a Nexus application here, and here we have a form component. It actually renders a form, and here, as you can see, we have an input for title of something, for example, a post, and here, we have another input for the post content. So we have title and content in the form and then we have a submit button. So let's go to the browser. You can see this form, it has a title and content. Now let's add a hidden field in this form. So here at the end of the form, I'm gonna create a div here. And first of all, let me set the class name to hidden. It actually set the display of this form to known. All right, now inside it, we're gonna have a label I'm gonna set its caption to something like honeypot. And then after that, we're gonna create an input. And we're gonna set the name to something like hpot, which actually stands for honeypot. All right, now let's submit the form and then we're gonna check if the input contains any data or not. So in order to submit the form, let me quickly use the use action state of the React. So here I'm gonna say const state and action and set it to use action state, all right? In the first parameter, we need to pass a server action. So I just pass something like a post. Of course, we haven't created this safe post server action. We're gonna create it in a second. And in the second argument, we need to pass the current state of the form which we're going to just pass undefined all right now let's go to the action.ts file here in the src directory and let's create the save post so here first let me mark it with the use server and then here i'm going to export an async function and name it save post it should get in state which i'm going to just set its type to any and in the second argument it takes the form data and we're going to set its type to the form data type all right now inside the body of this server action first we're going to get the value of the honeypot field so i'm going to say const honeypot and set it to form data yeah, get that edge part all right now here we're going to check the honeypot we're going to check if it has any data inside it so if honeypot then we're going to return an error back to the form so we're going to return an object inside it we're going to return an error we're going to set a error property and say something like but detected all right otherwise we're going to return a successful message back to the form so here again return object this time inside it we're going to set a message property with a message like form submitted successfully all right now let's get back to the form and import the save post server action now we have a typo here so let's fix that okay now we can set the action of this form to the action that we've got from the use action state all right now here in the beginning of the form we're gonna check if the state has an error inside it or a message inside it we're gonna render them at the beginning of the form so keep in mind that as you know this state is actually the returning value of this save post server action it might have an error property inside it or a message property inside it so here first we're gonna check if the state has an error inside it so first let me 
change it to a boolean with double exclamation mark and then we can safely use the logical and operator then if the state that error exists we're going to render a p tag and render the state that error at the beginning of the form let me set a class name for it for example let's set its text color to something like red red 500 and in the same way we can check the state that message so here we're going to check if there is state that message we are going to render that message at the beginning of the form but this time set the color of the p tag to something like green all right now let's get back to the browser and here if i manually fill out the form and click on the save you can see the form submitted successfully but here i'm going to actually use an extension which fills out all the fields inside the form automatically it actually works like a bot so this extension is fake filler and i have installed it in the chrome's extensions so if i click on the fill all inputs it will actually fill out all the inputs in the form including that hidden honeypot field so if i click on the save here you can see we have a message bot detected so we can easily detect the bots that fills out the form without bothering the user to solve something like a captcha and yeah that's it you've just learned how to secure your forms in nexus using the honeypot technique and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe to sakura dev channel and i think there are some libraries designed for honeypot field in react applications so if you know one of these packages please let me know in the comment section below so have a nice time and stay tuned for my next video Bye bye